Hello. In this video, I'll be introducing my algorithmic composition program. I've developed this program based on various ideas I had about using probability to generate variation in patterns. The pitches and rhythms are both picked by the program using probability. The two main windows in the program function much like the familiar step sequencer. The right window picks the pitches, while the left window determines a step velocity. To demonstrate, I've entered a C major scale on the right with every note playing on the left. Notice I've put a higher velocity for the downbeats. As you can see, the note name is given under the corresponding bar. There are two sequencing modes. In synchronous stepping, velocity step number and pitch step are in sync. If I set 3 and 11 to 0, the E won't play. Notice when I take it off. There are three modes for picking pitches. Pitch probability tables, non-repeating chromatic row, and random. As you guessed it, random is fully random. Non-repeating row fills the table with chromatic pitches and doesn't repeat a pitch until all others have been used. Now I'll show you the probability tables. For the probability tables, every note from C and C-sharp to B have a table weighing how likely it is to go to any other note. I've created presets in all keys for major, minor, and pentatonic scales. I also have an interpolation option under development. There are three methods for picking where a note would play. Probability tables, random, and simple. First method uses probability with four states corresponding to the four velocity levels. Let me show you how I create a table where the only the loudest notes play. Here is a more moderate preset. Now I'm going to show you random. The third method uses a simple percentage for how likely each step is occur. Here is an example where I set every note to play. I'm, now I'm going to create a varying 8th and 16th note pattern that will change continuously. I'm also able to rotate and reverse the patterns. This concludes my introductory video. Thank you very much for watching.